Hey everyone, it's John. Today I will give you a review on this Wubin C3. Now I was actually in need of a new everyday carry flashlight. And so I actually reached out to Wubin and they were kind enough to send this out to me. And so far this has been a absolutely fantastic light. And I think for everyday carry, this is gonna fit the bill for a lot of you. And the main reason for me is this is not too big, but it does have a lot of power that you get to carry with you. So I do wanna show you the pocket clip first of all, because to me that's the biggest thing if you're gonna be carrying this. And Pocket clip, very, has a lot of good retention on it. No issues there. And as you can see, a little bit sticks out of the pocket, so it does make it really easy to grab. And we do have a tail cap switch, which I really like and prefer over a switch up here somewhere. And the way that this works, it doesn't have any momentary on, which for some people you may like that. But for me, for an everyday carry light, it just makes sure that I'm never, say in my car, pushing down on that flashlight and having it on in my pocket without my knowing it. You have to actually have a positive click on this. And then, of course, we do have USB-C charging. It does come with some extra O-rings, which is nice to have that included, as well as a USB-C charger there. And I've got so many USB-C chargers, uh, makes it really easy to charge this thing. And I will show you the battery here, which is in the tail cap. We'll pull this off here. And this is gonna be a pretty standard rechargeable battery. What I like about this is you're not gonna wear out your O-rings very fast because you never have to take this out of the flashlight. Some, the charger is on the battery. Not so with this, you've just got this port here which makes it really easy. And so really, I doubt you'll ever have to use these O-rings but it is nice that they are included as well. Now let's go over the features of the light. First of all, we just have this tail cap switch which makes it really easy. We turn it on and I've actually got the instructions here because I wanna be able to read to you what you can expect out of this light and make sure that I have it right. So first of all, there's four different modes. You have economy, which this is. This is five lumens and it should go for 143 hours, which is great. If you happen to be stranded, you know that you've got days of light here, which is great. And then it goes to low, which is 80 lumens, medium, which is 400, and then high, which is 1200 for the first minute, and then it drops down to 500 lumens. So this is a very, very bright flashlight, and we will take it out here and show you at night what this is gonna look like in the backyard. So very simple operation here. Just press on the tail cap here, and this will take you between the four different modes, the four different brightnesses. And then it does have a strobe mode, which it took me a minute to figure it out, but it's just a quick double tap. And that's going to, let's see here, there we go. And that brings the strobe mode. And this also has an SOS mode. And I wanna show you something on this. If we get into a high mode here, SOS, you get to it by pressing the tail cap three times. And it can be a little bit finicky, but there it goes. And it, you'll notice it goes down into the lowest economy mode. And I guess the thought process there is if you're using the SOS mode, you want it in the lowest, uh, lowest setting because that's still gonna be visible. You're not using this for a light source, you're just using it so that people could be able to see it. And this is gonna give you the longest runtime, which I thought was pretty cool, the way they had that thought out. It always goes to the lowest, the lowest five lumen setting. So let's take this outside. I'll show you what you could expect out of this light. So let's go ahead and test this out. This is the lowest mode, which I doubt you can see on camera. This is the low, medium, and high. The high is quite bright. We'll get it to focus back there so you can actually see. But this is what you can expect out of this flashlight. Definitely very ample for something that you're going to be carrying in your pocket. So that's a quick overview on this. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.